The only thing that kept God's hand from destroying this country, there are some holy and righteous people in this country that's praying for the correction of this country. Give me, if I'm correct, second estrus. Second estrus. Chapter one. Chapter one. All right, let's turn me and Williams up back there. Mm -hmm. I want you to follow me in the Bible. I believe this is what I want. I want to begin at verse one. I want to try to get as many of this, as much of this as I can. Hmm. Now, to all of my viewers, you go to the church website where it's posted, where baptisms are taking place in many parts of the country and out of the country. You go there, look at the time and the dates and the place so you can repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Repentance, you have to be sorrow for being of the devil. Who, Pastor Jenny? You. Hey, man, you know you're of the devil. You, your mama. Your daddy, this is Father's Day. You, your, your daddy is of the devil today. Right. Cigarette sucking, rice, dice rolling, and pool playing, beer guzzling, and homosexual heathen. Many of you, your father is on the down low. Some of you, your father is an open homosexual. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Let me tell you what your daddy, your father got to do. Give me Acts 2, 38, and then I go back to Estrus. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Here's something for all the daddies out there. Then Peter said unto them, Then repent. Peter said to them, Repent. Hey, father. You fathers out there that's trying to date your son's girlfriend. Right. Amen. Amen. This is something for you today. That's right. Repent. Who? Your drunken daddy. Yeah. Your pipe smoking and dope taking and want to wear his wife's clothes. Daddy. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Some of you fathers don't like the fact that you're a man. Yeah. So you got on your skin tight, hot pants. <laughs> Trying to reveal the hips you don't have. That's right. You out here with your lips painted and went to Walgreens and got some fake hair and fake Lee stick on nails. And yes, I can't forget the eyelashes too. In other words, you got the spirit of Bruce Jenner. That's right. You want to run away from your manhood. But holiness, <laughs> holiness come to bring you back the way God made you. That's right. God made man in his image and in his likeness. God wants everybody everywhere, not just men, you women too. Women too. He wants you to be sorry about being such a fool. That's right. All the killing and robbing and murdering that is taking place throughout all around the world, not just here in America, but abroad, senseless death. Senseless murder. And having a good time doing it. That's right. They're having fun killing each other. Yeah. God is being patient with you. He said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away, and you promise you shall receive. The gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, God's patience is running out. Yeah. It's not gone yet. Not yet. Amen. You better be glad that it's not gone. That's right. Whenever God, I want you to hear me good. Whenever God's patience ran out on a country or on a people, mm -hmm. his judgment followed after he lose all patience. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. In the days of Lot, he was very patient with Sodom and Gomorrah, so patient, he visited Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. 
Imagine. The Lord appeared. That's right. Angels was with them. That's right. Come to Lot's house. And the Lord said. Listen. In the book of Genesis chapter 18 and at verse 20. Uh -huh. And the Lord said because the cry of Sodom because and Gomorrah is great. Because the cry of Sodom. Amen. And Gomorrah. Is great. Is great. And because their sin is their very sin grievous. is very grievous. I will go down now. Do you hear that? That's right. <clears throat> That's right. What brought God in town? Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great. Uh -huh. And because their sin is very grievous. What is it? I will go down now. Hey, viewers. Amen. Does that description sound like your country? My Lord. Because it sounds like America to me. That's right. I want to say to the world, because your sins are great. Great. And very grievous. I will go down now. God is going to come down to you. That's right. Hallelujah. He's being very patient. This is a warning message. Oh, yes. Well, after his patience with the wickedness of those in the days of Noah. Yeah. He was so patient. He gave man a hundred and twenty. 20 years. That's right. I know you preachers have misunderstood that scripture for years in the book of Genesis. Yes. That the number of a man shall be 120 years. And you thought that scripture mean that God was reducing man age and it don't mean that at all. That's right. You better give me Genesis. They give me Jasher. And let's balance both of it out. Amen. For clarity of understanding. Then we we'll go back to second Estrus chapter one. And uh, give the people some good knowledge. All right, Williams, I need you to move quick. Let's have it. Genesis chapter 6, we're at verse 1. Follow me. And it came to pass when man began to multiply on the face of the earth. When man began to have a lot of children in the earth. And daughters were born daughters unto him. Daughters was born unto him. And the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Yeah. And they took them wives of all which they chose. Then what? And the Lord said, my spirit. The Lord said, my spirit shall not always shall strive not with always man. Always be with man, For seeing that, he's just flesh. Yet his days, uh oh, yet man days shall be in 120 years. Not that he's cutting down man life span of age. That's right. That's where you preachers got it wrong. That's, that's right. This was during the times of the days of Noah. Right. And God was so tired of the world's conduct, God gave man. 120 years to correct himself. That's right. Now, let me give you broader understanding and more clarity of that. Now, the book of Joshua, follow me. In the book of Joshua, chapter 5, we're at verse 8. Listen. For thus saith the Lord. The Lord is talking. Behold, I give you a period. I give you a period. Of 100 of 120 and years. And 20 years. If he will turn to me. Wait a minute. I'm giving you 120 years to stop sinning. If he will turn to me. If a man can't stop sinning in 120 years, <laughs> you know he's going to hell. That's right. Because that's more than enough time. Oh, yes. That's more than enough. 120 years? 120 years. He's actually giving you a space of time. That's right. To get yourself right. That's right. Listen closely, viewers, and you that are here. Genesis, or uh, rather, Jasher. Jasher, count yeah. chapter and verse again. Jasher chapter 5 and at verse 8. What is it? For thus saith the Lord. Thus saith God. Behold, I give you a period of 120 years. And what? If ye will turn to me. If you will turn to him. And forsake your evil way. And leave your own wickedness off. Then will I also then turn away. Will I change my mind from the evil which I told you, and it shall not exist, saith the Lord. I got some judgment in mind. That's right. And my judgment will remain long as your actions remain. That's right. My judgment will go away yes. when your actions stop. If you will turn to me. You see, viewers, God wants you to turn to him. And you out there, some of you here, is turning to everything but him. That's right. And you're just surviving who? Everybody. Everybody. By God's mercy. Oh, yes.
All right, say, well, Pastor Jennings, I'm praying. That's what's keeping me here. No, it ain't. No. Uh, I believe after King David died, before he died, he went down the list to Solomon, his son. Yes. What you should do to this one because they done that and done the other. That's right. And there was a particular man who done King David wrong. And he was told, don't you come out the house. And some time went by and he thought the king forgot about it. And the man snuck out the house and went into the temple. And it came to pass. <laughs> I want you to know that the only way you can escape the judgment of God is through obedience. That's right. But if you don't obey, <laughs> That's the right. judgment of God hangs over you. That's right. Even after death of one, but prophecy came from that one. Yeah. That prophecy yet remained. Right. And the only thing that can bring that prophecy to naught is change. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. None of a change. That's right. And the judgment of God stayed away. Yeah. But the word was, I'm going to destroy Nineveh. That's right. Again, because he was tired of Nineveh's conduct. Mm -hmm. Now listen at this. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 2. Be quick. And we're at verse 40. Mm -hmm. And Shimei arose and saddled his ass and went to Gath to Achish to seek his servants. Yes. And Shimei went and brought his servants from Gath. Yes. And it was told Solomon that Shimei had gone from Jerusalem uh -huh. to Gath. Yes. And was come again. Uh -huh. And the king sent and called for Shimei. And said unto him, did I not make thee did to swear? I not make you promise? Did I not make thee to swear by the Lord? And protested unto thee. Yes. Saying, no for certain on the day thou goest out. The day you go out. And walkest abroad any whither. If you go anywhere. That thou shalt surely die. You gonna, I'm going to have you killed. And thou saidest unto me, the word that I have heard is good. Yes. Why hast thou not kept the oath of the Lord? You know. When you make a vow to the Lord. That's right. You know, many of you watching now that are out there in the street, you once served the Lord and you promised. That's right. Him that you would never leave him. You would never turn on him. You would never deny him. That's right. Some of you made that promise where you didn't have no money. You came into some money. All of a sudden, scriptural unbelief fell in your lap. Right. When you didn't have much money, Lord, if you bless me with this, I'd do that, I'd do the other. When you got money, money converted you. It changed you into what you never was. That's right. Some of you were dedicated and loyal until you met him, yeah. whoever the him is. Amen. Dedicated and loyal until you met her, whoever that her is. Right. Dedicated and loyal until you met it. Well, heaven knows what it is. A Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. What of God says what? Why then hast thou not kept the oath of the Lord? Why didn't you keep your word? And the commandment that I have charged thee with. <laughs> the king said moreover to Shimei, Thou knowest all the wickedness which thine heart is private to. Yes. That thou didst to David my father. Uh -huh. Therefore the Lord shall return thy wickedness the upon Lord thine own head. The Lord is going to make you reap what you sow. The wickedness that you done to David, the father of Solomon, the Lord. Therefore shall the Lord shall return, return thy wickedness. Thy wickedness. Upon thine own head. Now viewers, I want everybody to hear me. Some of the things that you are experiencing in life now That's right. that is making you uncomfortable, That's right. depressed, yeah. fasting, yeah. praying, angry, yeah. hurt, yeah. disgusted, it's not always is a result of the devil. That's right. Many of us are going through a period of reaping. reaping. Are you listening to me? Be not deceived. Don't you hear what the Lord told him there? That thou didst give chapter and verse. Back in 1 Kings 2 and verse 44. 
Therefore, the Lord, the Lord shall return. Not the devil. The Lord. The Lord shall return. The Lord shall bring back thy wickedness upon your wickedness thy own head. And go and dump it on you. That's right. Boomerang That's right. effect. Amen. You throw it out on somebody else. Yeah. And the Lord brings it back and dump it on you. That's right. That's something, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, now let's go up to 2 Esther chapter 1. 2 Esther chapter 1. Begin at verse 1. I want everybody to hear me and understand and get this good. Second, All right. 2 Esther chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Yes. The second book of the prophet Esther, the son of Sarias, the son of Azarias, the son of Helkiah. Come on, son. The son of Sedemias, the son of Zadok, the son of Actub. Yes. The son of Achaias, the son of Phineas. the now son of Now let us Eli. understand. Estrus is the same book that's called Ezra. Ezra, that's right. Not a different book. That's right. Same book. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, years ago, it used to be First Kings. This, before the, this is before the Catholics got a hold of the Bible. Yeah. There were four books of kings. Yeah. First Kings, Second Kings, Third Kings, Fourth Kings. When the Catholics got a hold of the Bible, they took 1st and 2nd Kings, they compiled, compiled it and made 1st and 2nd Kings all of 1st Kings. Right. Then they took 3rd and 4th Kings and make all of that 2nd Kings. Right. Originally, it was four books of Ezra. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th book. Right. They did the same thing. Yeah. Took 1st book, 2nd book, Compiled it into one, fourth, third book, fourth book, compiled it to another. That's right. And then decided to take out some books. Yeah. And the books that they wanted to usher out is what we still have. That's right. Make sure you don't get away. That's right. We want to rope you all in with Bible. Amen. So I said, I don't recognize those books. Who cares? Who cares? Since when do God need your recognition? That's right. God don't need nobody to recognition. That's right. His word is true even after heaven and earth get gone. God's word is true. That's right. Oh, no, since when do you become so wise? I don't recognize those books as if your recognition moved the Bible. Amen. Huh? Amen. I don't believe those books. God say, what if some do not believe? That's right. Shall their unbelief make the faith or the belief of God without effect. Without effect. He said, God forbid. God forbid. Let God be true and every man be a liar. And that include you. <laughs> That's right. I right, listen to the old man. Amen. Listen at this now. Come on, Williams. Second Esther chapter one. Now I'm at verse two. Follow me. The son of Achaias, the son of Phineas, the son of Heli, the son of Amorias, the son of Asia, the son of Mo Marimoth. Come on. The son of Arna, the son of Ozias, the son of Boreth, the son of Abbasai, the son of Phineas, the son of Eleazar. Yes. The son of Aaron of the tribe of Levi, which was captive in the land of the Medes. Yes. In the reign of Atarxes, king of the Persians. Yes. And the word of the Lord came unto me. The word of the Lord came to me. Saying, go thy way. Go thine way. And show my people their sinful deeds. Amen. You know, a lot of us need to be reminded where God brought us from. That's right. Whenever any of us, hear me good, yeah. get to the point of refusing to listen, That's right. then don't be surprised what That's right. come in your life and dismantle your life when you won't even hear. That's right. Even the word of God says repeatedly in the book of Revelation, yeah. he that hath the ear to hear, yeah. let him hear yeah. what the Spirit say to the church. That's right. He that hath the ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the church. It is repeated over and over and over. The question is, how does the Spirit talk to the church? The church. How does the Spirit right. talk to the church. That's right. In the first chapter of the book of Titus. Titus chapter 1. Let's see how God talked to the church. And we're at verse 3. That's what? But hath in due time. Hath in due time. Manifested his God word. God manifests his word. Through preaching. 
How? Through preaching. Uh, the Spirit is talking to the church now. That's right. That's right. He's manifesting his what? Manifested his word. He's manifesting his what? His word. Hold that. And let's get what Jesus said the word is. St. John chapter 6 and that verse 6. You see, I got to harmonize the Bible. That's right. I want to show you what the word is. That's right. And then I want to go back and forth with John and Titus. Yes. Listen. First now in St. John chapter 6, we're at verse 63. Follow me. It is the spirit that quickeneth. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. Yes. The words. Glory to God. Amen. The what? The words. Sell it. W-O-R-D-S. All the sayings of God. Oh, that's right. That's right. He is the word, singular. Right. But the word have words. That's right. The word, singular, is the expression of words. That's There's right. a lot of words. That's right. A lot of sayings, commandments, instructions, doctrines, statutes, orders. That's right. That come from the word. The word. Listen. The words. The words. That I speak unto you. The sayings that I speak to you. They are spirit. They are divine. And they are life. And they will give you life. It'll keep you living. And it will extend your life. That's right. And it'll give you another life that you don't have yet. That's right. That's right. You know, when he talk about life, it come in more than one category. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. Amen. Now let's see what Paul said in Titus again. Back in Titus 1 and verse 3. But as in due times manifested his word. This is how God is getting his sayings over. But how? Hath, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. Through preaching. Which is committed unto me. It's committed to me. It was committed to Paul then. It's committed to me now. According to the commandment. According to God's order. Of God our Savior. So I am commanded. That's right. To preach the word. That's right. Glory to God. Who do you think you are? I don't think I'm anybody. I just know I'm commanded. That's right. To preach to the people. According to the commandment. According to the commandment. Of God. Of God. Our Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I have that same commandment on me now. That's right. Amen. So and say, well, that's a past commandment. The word is still here and he's still ordered for it to be preached. That's right. If it wasn't commanded of God to preach it, you think I would preach this? <laughs> no There's way. something much more easier, less complicated to do. Oh, yes. All right, let's go back to Estrus. I have to get much of this as I can. Second Estrus chapter one, verse four. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, go thy way. Go your way. And show my people their sinful deeds. Show the people their conduct. And their children their wickedness. And show their children their wickedness. How wicked they are. Which oh, they here, here. which what? Which they have done which against they have me. Done against me. God oh. got a complaint oh, yes. of the mother, the father, the sons, right. the daughters. That's right. God got to complain of all the people of the earth. I don't care what you have. That's right. Do you really think you impress God by what you drive? <laughs> you drive a car, God ride upon the wings of the wind. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Amen. That little stuff you got don't mean nothing to God. The size house you have don't mean nothing to God. <laughs> because he owned the universe and that outside of the universe. That's right. All eternity is his. Oh, yes. Everything that you have is just lent to you. Your little breath in your body. Yeah. Amen. You only got vision because God allowed you to have it. That's right. You only can walk because God allowed you to walk. Oh, yes. You only sleep when God, hallelujah, allowed you to sleep. That's right. The moment man realized that the only thing that keep you breathing oh, yes. is your creator. That's it. The man realized who he is. And what he is not. What is not. He'll humble himself. That's right. Amen. Somebody right. say, well, my gun protect me. Your gun couldn't protect a dog. Oh, yeah. You got a gun, someone got one bigger than yours. The power of the earth. What? The power of the earth. Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse the 4. The power of the earth. Is in the hand of the Lord. Everything. Everything. Everything that happens in the earth. That's right. 
happens according to prophecy. That's right. And God will. In the hand of God. All of it. In the hand of God. Is the prosperity of man. Hallelujah. That's why God won't make everybody rich. That's right. You know, some folk, when they got a little bit of money, they lost their godly heart. They lost it. Yeah. They got lost out there. Oh, yes. Their money was an invitation for madness. That's right. And they wallowed in that madness like a dog, licked vomit like a swine in mud. That's right. And the only thing that can re uh, free that dog and free that pig is his creator. That's right. He got to do like Nebuchadnezzar. He got to reflect back. Yeah. In other words, his understanding got to return unto him. That's right. That's right. Till that man and woman understanding return unto him and her, they'll stay out there. That's right. And die a miserable fool. Amen. All right. Back in 2nd Esther chapter 1 and verse 5. Follow me. Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds. Show the people what they're doing. And their children their wickedness show which the they have children. done against me. That's why I can't spare your children. That's right. I don't care who your children is. You know, when I came up, parents next door could correct your children. Yeah. They can beat the child too. Oh, yes. My God, man, you see these folk, they don't, their child can be wild as an untamed roach when it's hit by raid. <laughs> Amen. You know, when that roach get hit by raid, that thing do something. <laughs> and that's the way some of these parents' children are. And if you try to correct their children, you can forget it. Oh, yeah. The parents will throw a gun up in your face. That's right. They see their child being disrespectful. And won't see nothing but look at it. Oh, yes. That's why the generations that are coming on the scene now, oh, yes. each generation, uh, they have gotten worse than the one before them because their sinful ways That's is right. heightened. Oh, yes. More and more. By the devil out of hell. Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds. God commissioned his preacher. Amen. That's why this program is so different from anything over any form of media. Yeah. We're not preaching prosperity with money and cars and houses. If God bless you with that, fine. fine. You have it. Don't let it have you. That's right. Are you listening? Go thy way and show Go my thy people way. their sinful deeds. Show the people their transgression. And their children their wickedness which they have show done against Show how wicked me. their children are. That they may tell their children's children. That way, if you, if you warn the children, Amen. so the children of today can tell their children that's coming on later. That's Do right. you see how God wanted his word to be passed down? And go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds. First, the, let the preacher warn them. That's right. And then tell the children. And, their children and then when the children get in possession of the message, let them pass it to their children. That they may tell their children's children. That they may tell their children. That's right. Uh -huh. Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them. What? Because the sins of their fathers. Listen closely. The Amen. sins of their father have increased, increased where? Are increased in them. That's why if you look at some of the children, That's sometimes true. old folk will say, you just like your daddy. That's right. And they ain't complimenting you either. That's right. You just like your daddy. You Amen. just as crazy like your mama. Amen. Amen. You run the street like your mama. You're a chain smoker like your daddy. Yeah. Oh, You're yeah. irresponsible, just like your father. That's your father don't want to take care of no kids, and you don't want to take care of yours. That's right. Do you hear the Bible talking? Because the sins of their father. Notice the sins of their the actions, the characteristics of your father are increased in them. Increased. Getting worse and worse. Worse and worse. Your daddy ran around and made a bunch of babies who wouldn't take care of them. That's right. You ran around and made a bunch of babies who wouldn't take care of yours. That's right. Your, your daddy got married and left that woman. Got married and left that woman. Got married and left that woman yeah. like he's some evangelist. <laughs> Amen. Stop by, spill the seed, and go to the next one. That's right. Bring them a message. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And many men... Old folks say, a chip off the old block. Amen. Are you listening? Because the sins of their fathers. The Bible speaks plain here. Because the sins of their fathers. The sins Amen. of their father. Are increased in them. Are increased 
in them. Your father go around cussing son. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 6, 15, 6. He go around cussing. That's right. That's right. His father refused correction. Son refused correction. That's right. That's right. Because the sins of their father. This is written here. That's right. That's why a lot of folk get mad at me and take this preaching personal. I don't care if you do take it personal. Yeah. I'm going to give you a Bible. If you get so mad, you leave out and go out there and pace out there on the lawn. Until the lawn where you're walking at, you kill the grass. <laughs> My Lord. And all that spot is brown. But when you come back, Amen. you're going to have to do this or go to hell. That's right. Eh? Because the sins of their fathers. The sins of their fathers. Are increased in them. Are your son just like you? Amen. Is your son stubborn like you? Is your son smoking like you? Right. Is your son a womanizer like you? Is your son a pedophile like you? Is your son an alcoholic like you? Is your son a chain smoker like you? Is your son a homosexual like you? Amen. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Is your son a thief like you? That's right. Is your son a liar like you? That's right. Do Amen. your son hate church like you? Mm. Do your son blaspheme and curse God like you? That's right. That's right. Is your daughter a whore like you? Like, mm -hmm. Is your daughter a user of men like you? That's right. Do your daughter scam men out of money to get gifts like you? Amen. Do your daughter hate the fact she's a 10-year-old version like you did? My Lord. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Because the sins of their fathers. The sins. Of their fathers. Of your house. Are increased. Are greater. In them something increased some of you parents watching me now your children are dead because they play with their father's gun that's true that's true that's right your children are out here drinking and smoking and many of you mothers you out here partying with your daughters you can't accept the fact you're 45 yeah you still want to think you're 18 Amen. So Amen. you want to go out to your club half naked? Yeah. And you and your daughter dress alike. That's right. She got on her mini skirt, you got on your mini skirt. Yeah. Everything that was under your clothes is out. Everything that's under her clothes is out. That's right. And y'all both at the same club, two different generations. That's true. That's true. Bumping and grinding and Partying and smoking and twerking like an old and a young fool. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Because the sins of their fathers. The Bible is speaking very plain here. In 2 Esther chapter 1 and verse 6. The sin, and, and wait a minute. And, and, and before that's spoken, God tells the man, go tell him. That they may tell. That's right. Go tell them. That's right. And then what he said? Go thy way. Go thy way. And show my people their sinful deeds. Show the people. Their sinful deeds. Their sinful deeds. And their children God. their wickedness. And what? And their children their wickedness. Show them the children. How their, wicked your children is. Which they have done against me. Hallelujah. Your father abandoned you. Amen. Did you abandon your sons? That's right. And did you abandon your daughters? That's right. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? And the word of the Lord came unto me. If your father abandoned you and you got sons and daughters, you should not want them to experience that same void you have. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? And the word of the Lord came unto me. The word of the Lord came unto me. It came then and is coming now. That's right. Mm -hmm. saying go thy way go thine way and show my people their sinful deeds oh, dear God I had that same commission that just ride my back now amen amen and we've been preaching this thing now 
for 46 years. Mm. We've been preaching it for 46 years. Wonderful. And been pastoring for 38 years. That's right. And as the clock ticks, we get worse and worse That's right. and worse all the time. That's right. Yeah? Amen. Amen. Many thousands of people write me and say, well, you shouldn't preach so hard. You mm. preach too hard. You should show more love. Love is truth. Love is truth. That's what love is truth. That's right. Bible says God is love and God is not a liar. That's right. I'm not over the air to make you my friend. No. I'm over the air to keep you out of hell. That's right. That's right. Are you getting glory? Take God what I'm telling you. Go thy way. Go thy way. And show my people their sinful deeds. Show thine people thy sinful deeds. And their children. And show your children. Their wickedness which they have done How against you. How wicked them. you are. That they may tell their children's that, children. That way if I tell your children, your children can grow up and get this seed planted in them. And then when they have children, they can pass that good information to them. Because the sins of their fathers. Because the sins of their fathers. Are increased in are them. Are increased in them. For they have forgotten me. What? For they have forgotten me. Hallelujah. This is the reason why sin have increased. They have you, you that are watching. That's right. All the American government, the governments of Europe and Africa and all the governments of the countries of the world. That's right. What did you do with God? They have forgotten me. You've forgotten God, you hypocrites. Amen. You put on the court houses of America. Yeah. You put on schools of America and federal and state buildings. In God we trust. You's a liar. That's a lie. That's a lie. When you trust a thing, you believe in it. That's right. And the thing you believe in, you follow it. Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. For they have forgotten me. The Lord is filing a complaint here. Amen. He said, you've forgotten him. Proof that you've forgotten the Lord. Look at your law. Yeah. You just forgot what God said way back in the Garden of Eden. That's right. That the woman was made for, for the, the man. man. That's right. You forgot all about that. Forgot and me. then said, two men can get married. Two women can get married because that's what there's so many same sex, even television programs now. That's true. They weaved it in cartoons now. That's right. They are trying to get the mothers and the fathers and the sons right. and the daughters right. to give up and tap out on God's law. That's right. That's true. They have forgotten me. They forgot God. Oh, yes. Amen. And God sent, them, God sent men to make you remember God. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Bless God. That's why God sent me so the world can remember him remember and that's not what I'm about to tell you God made me a stubborn preacher oh yes I'm stubborn that's right yeah. that's right hey, amen what you mean you're stubborn pastor Jennings I'm stubborn when it comes to the will of Satan but I'm humble when it comes to the will of God that's right and when you try to pull me over to get me away from the Bible then uh, you raise the bull up in me oh yeah hey, amen I start Dragging my feet in. That's right. Lord, I drop my head down where scripture is. That's right. So I can charge you with Bible. That's right. Ah! Amen. The hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. What is that? For they have forgotten me. God is complaining here. Oh, yes. Forgot Many of me. you watching now, oh, yes. you forgot God. Forgot him. Got some little man in your life, got some little woman in your life, got a few dollars now that you done made from your job, and as a result of such, what did you do? They have forgotten me. What a fool you are. What a fool. When you forget God, you left him. You abandoned him. You forsook him. That's right. You left him off. You dropped him off. You felt as though what you have now is more important than God. So now you feel as though you don't need you don't God need no more. That's right. What a fool. What a fool. My God, and this is the mindset of society. That's right. And For they have forgotten me. They have forgotten me. And have offered unto strange gods. And now you went after other gods. That means just other things got your attention now. That's right. And when you offered to it, you gave yourself to it. That's it. And Am not I even he that brought thee out of the land of Egypt from wait, the house wait, of Wait, 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 wait. What did he say? Am not I. And, oh, now. Hmm. This is what God is doing, viewer. Now yes. I want you to hear me. God Almighty is reflecting back to remind you 
what he done. That's right. In other words, he wants you to rethink by him bringing up your past of what he done for you. That's right. And he done something for all of you. Oh, yes. Hey, atheists that said there is no God. Yes. He done something for you, too. That's right. He gave you breath so you can spew your unbelief. That's right. That's right. That's just an act of mercy. That's mercy. But I'm going to show you in the Bible, not even his mercy going to continue. That's right. Mm -mm, no, sir. Listen at this closely. Am not I, even he, that Am not I, talking to Israel. That's right. Even he. That brought thee out, out of the land of Egypt. That brought you out of bondage. From the house of bondage. Am I not the Lord that brought you out of sin? That's right. Am I not the Lord that delivered you when you called me? Am I not the Lord that blessed you with this, that, and the other when you didn't have it? That's right. Then why do you treat me so foul? Oh, yes. Why do you treat me so wrong? Why do you treat me so cheap? That's right. Why do you lie on me? Why do you abuse me? Yes. Why do you take my name for granted? Why do you make mockery of me in the movie industry? Why do you make mockery of me in the music world? That's right. Why do you play with God? That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Hallelujah. That's right. Glory. What did he say? Am not I even he that, brought, not the, I. that brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage? I brought you out of that car accident. That's right. I brought you out of the hospital. Oh, yeah. Hey, Amen. you had a stroke, and I, now, now you can walk now. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Am not I. Am not I even he that brought thee out of the land of Egypt? I that, am he. That's I am he. That brought you out of the land of Egypt. From the house of bondage. From the house of sin. But they have provoked me unto wrath. But they wrath. have provoked me what? Unto wrath. They have provoked me. They have moved me to anger. That's right. That's right. Listen good now. But they have provoked me unto wrath. And, and despise my counsel. They despise my counsel. My counsel. Now. They despise God's counsel by despising the instruction of Moses. That's right. After Moses died, they despised God's counsel after rejecting the counsel of Joshua. That's right. After Joshua died, they despised God's counsel after despising the counsel of the judges. That's right. After the judges died, they despised God's counsel. Counsel after God gave them their first king, yeah. King Saul, who came out the tribe of Benjamin. That's but right. they despised that. They still repetitiously despise the counsel of God up until this day. But they mock the messengers of God. Amen. Amen. Do you hear this? In 2 Chronicles 36 and verse 16. What do the people do when God send men? But they have mocked. What? They have mocked. They tease. The messengers of God. Hallelujah. That's why many of you viewers do us. That's right. That old loud mouth Patrick Jennings, he's a this, he's a mother this, he's a S-O that, he's another. That's why you find all these little half pint, three inch by three inch preachers all over social media making all type of programs in their bathroom, in their bedroom. <laughs> Amen. Somewhere Mark. on the side of the toilet trying to make mockery of this. That's right. That's right. But we don't feel it. No. Amen. As to us, it's like a gnat standing before an elephant. That's right. We don't suck you up and can't even find you in our own nostrils. <laughs> Amen. Eh? They have mocked the messengers they have of God. Mocked the messengers the of God. The messengers of God. And despised his words. Amen. You despise repenting and being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. You despise the fact that there is one God. Yeah. You despise the fact that Jesus Christ is that God. That's right. You despise the fact there is only one church. And Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church. That's right. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You despise the fact that the proof you got the Holy Ghost is when you speak another tongue. Just like they obtained it on the day of Pentecost in no other way. And despised his word. You despise. God's word. That's right. Uh -huh. And misused his prophets. Not only did they mock the prophets, mm. what else did they do to them? And misused his prophets. Misused. Misused them. Took mm. advantage of them. That's right. Huh? That's right. And that's the way they are now. You know, anytime God send you a real man, don't you be a fool and take advantage of him. Oh, yes. You better thank God for him and cherish him while you got him alive among you. That's right. Huh? That's right. 
Amen. A real man of God today is just as easy to come by as it is a camel with 20,000 humps. Amen. And each hump got its own flavor ice cream. That's right. Very hard. Very hard. All right, come on, son. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his word. Yes. And misused his prophets. Yes. Until the wrath of the Lord. Have you noticed? Everything leads up. To God's punishment. That's right. Everything leads up yeah. to God's anger. That's right. God styled his anger as a woman having a baby. That's right. I believe in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. God says for a long time, That's right. a long season, yeah. I've held my peace. He said, but now I'm ready to cry. Glory to God. Like a woman in travail. Glory that God, you know, when a woman is having a child, she in pain. She's hollering. What got her hollering? She's carrying something. What got God Almighty ready to holler? Because he's carrying the burden of the wickedness and the repetitiousness of the ungodly behavior of the world until even God is getting burdened by it and is getting tired of carrying it and he's ready to cry out upon the world. Hallelujah. I have long time. Do you hear this? In Isaiah 42 and verse 14. I have long time. Long time. Holding my peace. I kept quiet. I have been still. Kept quiet about it. Amen. Not because I didn't know what was going on. That's right. Oh, it take God. I didn't close my eyes to it. That's right. I just kept quiet about it. That's right. Giving man time. Amen. To make a change. That's right. I, I, I kept quiet. When he said, I help my peace, that means personally. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Personally, he didn't say nothing. Right. He just spoke through the prophets indirect. That's right. But direct. Didn't do anything yet. That's right. Yeah. I am he said when God started doing things direct, the whole city, the whole world, That's right. or the whole country yeah. is punished. That's right. That's right. When he did it direct, all of Sodom and Gomorrah yeah. set on fire. That's right. When he did it direct, the whole world yeah. in the days of Noah. That's right. You see, he came at that generation two ways. He came direct and indirect. That's right. He came indirect first by using Methuselah and Noah. Yeah. The preach to the people. Yeah. And my God, they wouldn't even hear them. Hear them. Blessed be the name of God. So God, come along. Yeah. I'm gonna straighten this thing out direct. That's right. Windows of heaven open up. That's Boy, right. Hallelujah. Fountains of the deep broke Bro up. Broken up. Rain. Came down from God out of heaven. That's right. And everything began to drop. That's right. Only them that was in the ark stayed afloat. Oh, yeah. And you bear in mind, only eight. eight. All of hundreds of thousands that was in the world. Yeah. And only eight only souls eight. were saved by water in Noah's water. day. That's right. All them people. All them people. That represent what's coming now. That's right. Bible says that it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be mm -hmm. when the Son of Man come. A few was saved in Noah's day, just a few going to be saved now. I am long time holding my peace. Listen at this, give chapter and verse again. I, Isaiah chapter 42 and we're at For verse 14. For a long time. I have holding my peace. I showed mercy. I have been still. I was still. patient. That's right. I was what? I have been still. Oh, amen. <laughs> I was still, still calm. That's right. At ease, That's still right. observing everything. Amen. And, and refrain myself. What you? What? I have been still and refrain myself. I turn things over to men and let men warn you. That's right. I refrain myself. I refrain myself from just doing it personally. That's right. I wouldn't get up off the throne. That, that's right. I just stayed there. That's right. I refrained myself. What you mean? Now, if he refrained himself, that means he had to constrain himself mm. because he was on edge about to do something. That's right. But even God had to refrain himself. That's right. You know this is the wicked people. Amen. You know you got to be wicked any time that your wickedness go from earth into heaven until you move God, until God got to refrain That's himself. That's right. That's something. 
Amen. Are you listening? I have long time holding my peace. In old oh, another place, he said, "You have thou have moved. They have moved me to jealousy, jealousy. to that which is not God. That's right. They have provoked me to anger. To anger. God had to reframe. Have you ever dealt with people? That's something. And you have to reframe yourself <laughs> from jumping on them. Amen. <laughs> I don't care how much Holy Ghost you got. That, that's right. Have you ever dealt with people and you had to reframe yourself from saying what you really wanted to say? That's right. What do you mean? You had to hold yourself back. Oh, yeah. Now imagine. Imagine. Imagine provoking God. God. Who the Bible says is long suffering. Long suffering. To us, who's tolerant. That's right. But even the earth conduct made God reframe himself. That's right. That's something. He wanted to get you. Amen. He wanted to get even with you. Yeah. But he said what? I have long time holding my peace. For a long time I held my peace. I have been still. I've, I've been very still. And refrained myself. And I refrained myself. Now. Uh-oh. Amen. Now, now will I cry like a travailing woman. When a woman is in travail, she's ready to deliver what she's carrying. That's right. That's right. God is ready to cry because he's ready to deliver and bring out and get rid of <laughs> the right. burdens that the people is putting on them. That's right. Amen. You bear in mind, human family, yeah. God's patience will not remain. No. Always. That's right. And we're going to show you this in the same book, yes. same, chapter. same chapter. Listen. Back in 2nd Esther chapter 1 and verse 7. Read fast. Am not I even he that brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage? Yes. But they have provoked me unto wrath and despised my counsel. And Pull thou off then the hair of thy head. Pull off the hair of your head. And cast all evil upon them. And cast all evil upon them. For they have not been obedient unto my law. They haven't obeyed what I told them. But it is a rebellious people. What kind? A rebellious people. You out there don't want to repent, don't want to be baptized. Many of you. Many of you. Fight the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. You still go under this cheap, ungodly, lying, man-made religion. Once saved, always saved. That's right. Don't you know if that was true? You would never see me on the, over the air. That's right. On this beautiful day. This beautiful out here today. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The sun is shining. The sky is blue. The clouds is moving very patiently. The breeze <laughs> is blowing through your hair. The breeze is blowing all through my scalp. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. This is a nice day just, just to sit outside. Hey Amen. Drink some lemonade and eat a hamburger. <laughs> hey Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. What did he say? For they have not been obedient unto my law. God said you haven't obeyed his what? My law. Now God put down rules. Oh, yes. God put down order. That's right. And this is what the churches have become day to day. People don't want no rules. I have so many people write me, Pastor Dennis, I, I want to come to your church, but you have too many rules. Too many me? Rules. Amen. Me? <laughs> you, you, you talk like a fool. That's, that's right. Listen, the rules are in here. Yeah. This is a rule book. That's right. B-I-B-L-E. <laughs> Basic instructions before leaving earth. That's right. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Amen. And that's what I'm here to give you. Bible instructions Bible before instructions. you go to hell. That's right. that's right. Fight it all you want. Yeah. Reject it as much as you please. As you please. But one thing that everybody have in common, regardless of the color of your skin, mm -hmm. the texture of your hair, uh, your level of wealth or poverty, right. one thing you have in common with each other yeah. is death. Oh, yes. Eh? Oh, yes. Amen. The Bible says it this way. How do the wise man die? As the fool. As the fool. That's why I, I've met millionaires, I, and I still meet millionaires, and I ain't impressed with nobody. That's right. Why? You got to wash or else you a stinking rich man. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? That's right. Amen. Amen. You got to pray and serve God or else you're going to die and go to hell. Die and go to hell. That's just that simple. The kind of, listen, I don't care if your carpet is so plush. When someone step in your vestibule, when they foot hit the carpet, they come all the way down and end up in Australia. That's right. 
carpet so plush until they go down underneath the earth. Amen. Amen. And just come right down next to Aborigines. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, it's a God, but you better stay in mind when you're able to come back up through your living room. You have to repent of your sins and give your life to God and be baptized in water that's right. in the name of Jesus Christ and take every man-made religion that's on the earth today oh, yes. and pass it up and dump it aside. That's right. All of us, All of us. are victims of some man-made religion oh, yes. until God stepped in that's to right. open up our understanding to what is holy and what is right. That's right. All right, son. For they have not been obedient unto my law. God said they have not obeyed my law. But it is a rebellious people. They what? A rebellious they people. They are rebellious people. How long shall I forbear them? Look at here. Amen. All right, viewers. How long? How long shall I forbear them? How long is God going to tolerate you? You hear this message time after time. That's right. That's right. And you always say, I know it's the truth, but I'm not ready yet, Pastor Jenna. Yeah. I know you're telling the truth, but I'm, I'm not ready to stop partying. I'm not ready to stop smoking and drinking. I'm not, I kind of like this life out here. That's God right. says, how long shall I forbear them? All right, then let me make this suggestion. Hmm. If you like it so much, then why do you call on God when you get sick? That's right. What are you calling on God for? That's right. The, the, Jesus said this. Why call you me Lord? And do not the things Amen. I say. Why would you say Lord have mercy? That's Why right. don't you call your father the devil? The You're devil. serving him. You That's ain't right. doing a holy dance under the spirit of God. You're dancing for the devil. That's right. Why don't you, why don't you say, mm, oh devil have mercy. Right. Satan help me. Satan please help me. That's right. Because you're not going to get an answer. I said you're not going to get an answer. That's right. That didn't get no answer in the days of the prophet Elijah. That's right. Lord, they got until they had to fall down. And when fire came down from heaven, after Elijah got through talking to God, when fire came down from heaven, the false prophets had to admit that the Lord, he is God. He is the God. All right, go back to Esther, son. What did he say? How long shall I forbear them unto whom I have done so much good? Viewers and you that are here, have God been good to you? Yes. Amen. Amen. Even, even if you haven't measured up to everything God said, Amen. you still got to bear witness God been good to you. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. You that are watching around the world, God been good to you. Good. Amen. May not be able to eat all the time like you want. That's right. But God's still been good to you. Oh, yes. May not be able to change clothes as often as you please. That's right. May not have the job that you want. Yeah. May not have the type of living quarters that you desire. Yeah. But God, hallelujah, still been good to you. Oh, yes. And we owe God everything. Oh, everything. Everything. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Thank God we owe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We owe God everything. That's right. Everything. God deserves you to thank him. Oh, yes. God deserves you to praise him. That's right. God deserves you to lift him up. That's right. God deserves you to magnify his name. God deserves it. That's right. Hallelujah. Go and take off. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. God is worthy of it. Oh, yes. Are you listening? How long shall I forbear them? Amen. Listen at this now. In 2 Esther chapter 1 now in verse 9. How long shall I forbear them? Shall I forbear them? Unto whom I have done so much good. How long will I put up with them? That's right. And I've done so much good for them. That's right. So much good. Hallelujah. Glory. So much Hallelujah. good. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How long? How long? Shall I forbear them? Unto whom I have done so much good. So he much, done what? So much good. So much good. So much good. Uh, that's, that's true. Some 
love you, OD. Hallelujah. But God kept you living. That's right. In and out of jail, but God kept you living. That's right. Had knowledge of the truth and out there in the street, but God kept you living long enough to come back to him. That's right. That's right. How long? Go How hallelujah. long shall I forget? Go ahead, How long? Go hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did he say here? How long shall I forbear? How long them? shall I forbear? Unto whom I have done so much good. Whom I've done so much. So much good. So much good. Good. Amen. So much good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you preachers. Hallelujah. Some of you preachers that are watching. God have blessed your congregation to grow. Oh, yeah. And after your congregation grew, you took the Bible and threw it aside. That's right. And you became more focused on the size membership. That's right. And the amount of money until now you have compromised the Bible just to fill your own pockets. That's right. And God said, How long shall I forbear them? Shall I forbear them? Shall I forbear? Unto whom I have done so much Unto good. Unto whom I have done so much good. So much good. Come on, son. Many kings have I destroyed Many for their sake. Many kings sakes. have God destroyed for the sake of Israel. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. Many people. Hallelujah. God moved out of your way. That's true. Mm. Took out of your life. That's true. They were nothing but problematic hindrances. That's right. Try to keep you from serving God. That's right. You called them a best friend, yeah. but God saw further than you. They were your enemy. That's right. God stepped in and moved them out your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Huh? Hallelujah. Sometimes God, in his wisdom, will spark an argument. Yeah. He'll make an argument to happen. Because he knows the results of that argument. You're going to go your way, and they're going to go theirs. That's true. That's the wisdom of heaven. That's right. Glory to God. Many kings. Many kings. Have I destroyed for have their sake? I destroyed for Israel's sake. Pharaoh with his servants and Pharaoh, all his power. With his servants. And all his power have I smitten down. All Pharaoh's power. Amen. I want every politician, Democrat, and Republican to understand this. That's right. You only live by the little breath lent to you in your nostrils. That's it. If all of the government of America don't bow to God one by one, the hand of God is going to step in the house of every congressman. Oh, yeah. And dismantle you. You see, God is not Democrat. Or Republican. That's right. God is holy. That's it. God don't lead to no party. No. God is stationary. That's right. Or we take God and his words are true. That's right. What is it, son? All the nations have I destroyed before them. And? And in the east I have scattered the people of two provinces. Yes. Even of Tyrus and Sidon, and have slain all their enemies. And? Speak thou therefore unto them. Tell the people. Saying, thus saith the Lord. Thus Say of the Lord. I led you through the sea. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I led you through the sea. Through the sea. And in the beginning gave you a large and safe passage. Wait a minute. Mm. I did what? And I led you through the sea. Wait a minute. What is the sea to us? Mm. I led you through trouble. That's right. I led you through turmoil. That's right. I led you through things that you never thought would clear up. Amen. That's true. And I led you right through it. That's right. And you keep saying, I don't know how I got through. You don't? My Lord. Used to be an old song I used to hear as a child, how I got over. Yes. My soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My soul looked back and wonder how Hallelujah. I got over. That's true. Glory to God. That's it for the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. I led you through the sea. I have led you through the sea. And in the beginning gave in you a large and safe passage. I gave you a law, a what? A large, a large and safe passage. safe passage. I gave you Moses for a leader 
and Aaron Hope for a please, priest. Do you hear this? <laughs> Amen. Look at what the scripture saying what he done for his people. I gave you Moses. And he's doing the same thing now. That's true. He's doing the same thing now. That's right. But the people actions has caused God to remind them. That's right. What he done for. Them. That's right. Hallelujah. That's why this is written oh, yes. for our learning. Oh yes. Our actions oh, yes. cause God to cause he want to remind us yeah. of what he done. That's right. And put your actions in check. That's right. I let you In other that. words, mm -hmm. God complaining is I don't deserve. Yeah. What the way you think of me. That's right. I don't deserve your little half-handed way of praying. Mm. I don't deserve Hallelujah. your halfway of fasting. That's right. I don't deserve your lack of loyalty to church. That's right. I don't deserve your disrespect the scriptural precept. That's right. I don't deserve yeah. that you took that man over my will. Yeah. I don't deserve that you took that woman over my perfection. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. I led you through the sea. I led you. Amen. I through led turmoil, you. through trials, through opposition. And in the beginning, Glory to God and in the beginning, gave you a large and safe gave passage. Gave you a large and safe passage. I gave you Moses for a leader. I gave you a preacher that had the oversight. That's right. Uh -huh. And Aaron for a priest. And I gave you Aaron for a priest. I gave you light. So sacrifices could be offered. Mm. Uh -huh. I gave you light. I gave you light. understanding. In a pillar of fire. Hallelujah. I gave you light. In a pillow of fire, I gave you direction. I was there to guide you mm. in the midst of darkness. That's right. That's wonderful. Are you listening? I gave you light in a pillar of fire. Gave you light in a pillar of fire. And great wonders have I done among you. Oh, yes. Amen. Great wonders. And we're yeah, here. We are experiencing great wonders now. That's right. There's no maybe it's all about it, brother. That's great right. wonders is taking place in the truth of God. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. And great wonders have I done among you. And what? Yet ye have forgotten me, saith the Lord. Ye have forgotten me, saith the Do Lord. Do you hear the complaint? Yet ye have forgotten me, saith the Lord. How did some of us get so content yeah. that we can lay out a church? That's right. And be comfortable. Yeah. Oh, yes. When you can be there, you just simply choose not to. Not to. And you're comfortable. That's right. Your heart is waxing cold. That's and right. And you're becoming spiritually careless. And that's why some of your prayers is not answered. Oh, yeah. Because God is taking what you've done and bringing it back on your head. That's right. That's right. Some of us are blessed because of somebody else. That's right. Because of our own actions, we hinder our own blessings. Yeah. So God will bring a blessing to you and let someone else mediate, mediate it. That's right. Do it through somebody else like you did Joseph Master House. Yeah. With blessed because of Joseph. Because of Joseph. Listen. I gave you light in a pillar of fire. Yes. And great wonders have I done among you. Uh -huh. Yet ye have forgotten me, saith the Lord. Have you forgotten the Lord? You that are here. Has any of you here or any of you watching and listening forgot the Lord? Forgotten. Have you forgotten? Have you pushed him aside? That's right. Have you rejected his counsel? You fell as though you was too smart, <laughs> Mr. and Miss Know-it-all. That's right. Until you took God and diminished him and treated him like he was just a man. Yeah. And you cussed him out over and over and over. That's right. And now that you're in the hospital about to die, now you want to turn to the same God that you reject. Amen. Amen. Hear this now. Yet ye have forgotten me, saith the Lord. The Lord said it. That's right. You've forgotten him. Forgotten me. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the almighty Lord. What? Thus saith the almighty Lord. Oh, he's the almighty Lord? The almighty Lord. Yes. Amen. He's the almighty Lord, which is the almighty God. That's right. Uh -huh. The quails were as a token for you. Look at it. I fed you. That's right. Gave you quails to eat. Quails. Mm -hmm. I gave you tents for your safeguard. I gave you a place to live. Nevertheless, ye. I gave you food. That's right. I gave you shelter. That's right. All right. Nevertheless, ye murmured there. Amen. Oh, the Holy Ghost certainly know how to deal with you. That's right. 
Gave you a house. That's right. Gave you clothing. Nevertheless, ye murmured there. And you didn't appreciate that. That's right. Mm -hmm. And triumph not in my name for the destruction of your enemies. Yes. But even to this day do ye yet murmur. I told you. That's something. When? Even to this day do ye yet murmur. That's something. We get caught up in materialism. That's right. If God bless you with any materialism. Don't never become a prisoner of that materialism. That's right. Because what you have, you only just have it for a while. Soon someone will carry your stiff body out of your own materialism. Oh, yes. And you won't see it and you won't feel it and you won't smell it no more. That's right. Are you listening? Where are the benefits that I have done for you? Mm. Brother, <laughs> this is a good message. Yes, it is. This is all good right here. This is a good message here. That's right. God asked a question. Where are the benefits? Where are the benefits that I have done for you? That I've done for you. That's the right. things he blessed you with. Where are they? What are you doing with them? Right. Ask right. yourself, did you have a belief or stood for something before you got what you had? And then the moment you got it, all of a sudden your belief changed. Right. And it had nothing to do with the Bible. That's and right. there wasn't no revelation from God. That's right. It was your own personal view because of what you had. That's right. Sometime God gives someone a mansion, church ain't necessary now. When they was on the bike, they was faithful to church. They parked that bike and tied it to a pole. <laughs> Get a Ferrari, they go by the church. Go by mm. the church. <laughs> That's right. That's true. Everybody can't own a Bentley or a Rolls Royce and then still act like they got a Chevy. That's right. Hmm? Everybody can't. No. They get so caught up in the old name Bentley and Rose. I wouldn't care. Listen, I wouldn't care if you got a horse <laughs> and they got rims instead of hoofs. Amen. And the horse don't have no hoofs. It's just got 20-inch rims on each leg. <laughs> I'm just not caught up in that stuff. Amen. And God have blessed me much. Oh, yes, but yes. I ain't caught up in nothing. Wonderful. The reason why I ain't caught up. Someone said, do you find that difficult? No. Wonderful. I don't find it difficult at all. Either you're spiritually level-headed or you're not. That's right. That is not a struggle for me. Amen. That have never been a struggle for me. Amen. Because I never loved money. I thank God for it. If he give it to me, use it properly. Yeah. I was raised that way. Yeah. That's never a struggle for me. But all these church properties that God has blessed the truth of God with, the properties that he's given the church, that's accumulated, 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 and still accumulated. Yeah. I would never get too big for my britches. Wonderful, brother. But I, because I always want to stay where I have access to revelation. That's right. I need accessibility That's to right. revelation. That's right. And for me to keep an open channel between me and Jesus. That's right. I got to stay where I can communicate with him. That's wonderful, brother. And he hate a haughty look. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I'm so thankful the way God made me. He framed my mind a particular way. That's wonderful. A person can give me a billion dollars. You would never know it. That's right. I won't come in here looking like Liberace. That's right. That's All right. these rhinestones, rhinestones on my clothes. That's it's like right. a rhinestone cowboy. That's right. Amen. Amen. Get me now. Where are the benefits that I've done for Where you? Where are the benefits that yeah. I've done for you? When you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did you not cry unto me? I want everybody to look at yourself. Yeah. When he read this scripture, read these scriptures, don't look at it as it's just Israel by itself. No. You're in here. That's right. This is you. That's you right. that are watching, this is the whole world today. Yeah. The way he felt back then is the way he feel now. That's right. Someone said, prove it, Pastor Genesis. He said, I'm the same. Same. Yesterday. Yesterday. And today. Yeah. And forevermore. And forever. And he still treated the same. Neglect. That's right. Forsaken. Taken advantage of. Yeah. Taken for granted. And like he held his peace then, but then it came time that he cried out, he's holding his peace now. Holding his peace. 
But there come a time that he's going to open up heaven. Yeah. And you're not going to want to hear the sound that comes from it. That's right. Hear this. When you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did you not cry unto me? When you was hungry and thirsty in the wilderness. Did you not cry unto me? Now let me give you the natural side and the spiritual side to that. Yeah. Naturally, you was hungry, didn't have the food that you want, and God made a way for you to get it. That's right. Well, spiritually, you were suffering from spiritual poverty. The church you was in, there was no food on the shelves. That's right. Just busy jumping and howling and galloping like a horse with no hoofs. Amen. Just dying spiritually. Dying. dying. Yeah. And you cried out to God and God gave you something to eat. That's right. Which is God's word. Eh? When you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness. He that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Shall be filled. What did he do? When you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did you not cry unto me? And. Saying, why hast thou brought us into this wilderness to kill us? After he brought them out of Egypt, brought them into the wilderness, right. they still wasn't satisfied with that. That's right. They flipped it around. You ain't delivered us out there for no mercy. That's you right. brought us in the wilderness so you can just kill us all. It had been better for us. This, it, now he's, he's putting right back to Israel's face what they said to what him. What they said. What did they say? Why hast thou brought us into this wilderness to kill us? And it had been better for us to have served the Egyptians. Than to die in this wilderness. That's you, viewers, and That's some right. of you church folk here. Yeah. If I knew church was like this, all these rules, all this strictness, I, I wouldn't have done it. It'd have been, been better done. for me to stay out there in the world so I could do the boogaloo. <laughs> That's right. I want to do the boogaloo. <laughs> Amen. That's many of you right now. Right, right now. Only because you want to have your way. That's right. He says, "Bet I was better. It had been better for us I to have served I had less problems Egypt. when I was a sinner. That's true. That's true. I got a whole lot more problems now since I came in church. <laughs> That's right. And you're going to keep having them. You're keep having them. So get used to it. <laughs> That's right. You're giving God problems. Oh, yeah. You're going to have them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Why hast thou brought us into this wilderness to kill us? It had been better for us to have served the for Egyptians. Us. That's how wicked. That's wicked. They done saw the mighty hand of God. That's wicked. And there are many folk that was in the truth of God. They have seen God great wonder. That's true. And there's not a church nowhere in America where folks are being baptized, repenting of their sins, and being baptized on this magnitude in the name of Jesus Christ and receiving the Holy Ghost by these hundreds. By these and now hundreds. the hundreds have turned into thousands. That's right. And some folks see it right before their eyes and still let the devil pull them right up there in the world. That's true. That's true. You got to be settled and rooted and grounded. Oh, yes. Out in church, out of church, in church. When you're in church and out of church, you're not settled. No. Somebody say, well, I'm having church at home. No, you ain't. No, you're not. You the only one there, you ain't having church. No. Well, I'm watching it on the screen. No, you are watching church service, but you yourself ain't having church. That's right. Let me give you a Bible and show you how many members it takes to make up the church. First Corinthians chapter 12 and we're at verse 12. What is it? For as the body is one. As the body is one. A, and has many, and members, many members. And all the members of that one body what? being many are one body. The Bible said that the church of the body is not one member. First Corinthians 12 and verse 14. Says what? For the body. The body. Is not. Is not. One member. The church ain't one person. But many. What? But many. No, that one person is looking at the church. That's it. But you yourself ain't having church. No, no. That's right. Oh, I can be saved by myself. You believe that lie? <laughs> Amen. God always sent a man to you. Oh, yes. To preach to you. They were saved in Noah's day because God sent Noah. That's right. Israel was saved out of Egypt because God sent Moses. That's right. You ain't walking around here. I don't need no preacher. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. If you don't know how to cook, <laughs> I don't care how much food is there. You need to cook. That's right. You don't know how to cook grits, and you got a taste for them, <laughs> you better get someone that know how to cook grits. They know how to cook. Know how to put that butter in there and that salt and pepper. That's right. And that extra sharp cheese. <laughs> Otherwise than that, you better just get you some hot water, drink it, and then get the grits and eat it. <laughs> and then shake it up, let it get mixed up in you. 
Eh? Amen. If you can't cook it, get that hot water, drink it, get a, a handful of grits, drink it, take a bite off cheese, and you take it that way. <laughs> Otherwise than that, Otherwise than that, boil that hot water, get that grits in there, take your time and stir it so no lumps get in there. Get that salt and pepper. Get the right amount of grits. If it get too thick, mix it with a little bit of water. Take your time and stir it. That's right. Amen. Get that extra sharp cheese. Grate it in there. Choose your sausage or your bacon. Get your eggs and mix it all up together. <laughs> ah. Amen. 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 It has to be just right. Just right. I know how to boil the water and put it in the pot, but when I'm done with it, I'm not even going to enjoy it. <laughs> I can't fix it good enough where I like it. Amen. And if I can't fix it enough good enough where I like it, then I know ain't nobody else going to. I got to get somebody. Got to get somebody. So I got to call Sister Kalina. Yeah. My wife. That's right. Got to get Kalina. Hey, you want get some grits and cheese? Some bacon and some eggs? Amen. She said, when are you going to cook me some breakfast? I said, I'll cook you some. I mean, one day she said, cook me some breakfast. I said, all right. Went downstairs. And... <laughs> yeah, I made a good breakfast. I made a bowl of raisin bran. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was all fresh, bowl of raisin bran and milk. And My Lord. Put some toast and some jelly and some... Fried some bacon. Amen. And I said, now eat thou this. <laughs> In other words, I could cook enough so you don't die. So you don't die. <laughs> Amen. I could cook enough so you don't die. Amen. I'd rather be hungry every other day <laughs> than be hungry every day. That's right. Amen. So That's if right. any of you fellas can't cook and your wife want a uh, breakfast, Amen. Amen. Get some Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. That way you got colorful cereal. You ain't even got to buy no flowers. You got a whole bowl full of flowers. Come on, Williams. Back in 2nd Esther chapter 1 and verse 18. Yeah. Saying, why hast thou brought us into this wilderness to kill us? Uh -huh. It had been better for us to have served the Egyptians than to die in this wilderness. You know, that's awful to even think that way. He took the time to bring them from under bondage. And then once they get freedom, that's right. they feel as though he done them wrong. That's right. And you know why they felt that way? Because they felt as though God wasn't moving at their pace. Right. Many of us have the same attitude. That's right. That's right. Amen. All right. Then I had pity upon your mornings. God said, I had pity. Upon your mornings. Upon your mornings. And gave you manna to eat, so ye did I eat angels' I gave you manna. To eat. So ye did eat angels' bread. You can eat angels' bread. My goodness. I gave you angels' bread. Angels' bread. Manna from heaven. That's right. Uh -huh. When you were thirsty, did I not cleave the rock and waters flowed out to your field? When you were thirsty, did I not allow water to come out of a rock for you? For the heat. For the heat. I covered you with the leaves of the trees. I covered you with the leaves of the... Look at them just stripping you of your excuses. That's right. Uh -huh. I divided among you a fruitful land. Yes. I cast out the Canaanites, the Pharisees, and the Philistines. I got rid of them yes. that oppose you. That's right. Uh -huh. What shall I yet do more for you? What say more do you Lord? want me to do? <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. Used to be another old song they sung. What more can Jesus do? Yeah. He have laid the foundation. Yeah. Open up the way. What more can Jesus do? That's right. Do you see how ungrateful these people were? That's right. And do you see how ungrateful people are now? Now. In the midst of your prayer, ask yourself, do you ask God for things more than you thank him? Yeah. Have you ever got on your knees and didn't ask him for nothing? Mm. Just thank him Amen. for Wonderful. what he have done. Wonderful. And begin to name the different things you can think Hallelujah. of and thank them for it. Hallelujah. Mm. Have you ever just took time out to thank him? Amen. Amen. You know, the nature of the flesh 
is not to want to do anything more for a selfish man That's or right. a selfish woman. That's right. You're always doing, 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 and they never want to do nothing. Yeah. The human family is selfish towards God. That's you, viewers, many of you. Many. You're selfish. That's right. Hard head, stubborn out there like a fool. Mm -hmm. You watch this program and say you enjoy it. Thousands, right? You said they've never seen anything like it over the air since they've been born. Amen. What are you going to do about it? Do. When are you going to obey it? That's right. You only got life just what time God gave you. That's it. Well, I'm waiting on my wife to see what he going, what she going to do. Waiting on your wife. Mm. It ain't no man should wait on his wife or the wife should wait on the husband. The Bible says save, save yourself. yourself. Don't wait for nobody. That's save it. yourself. That's it. Come on, son. Thus saith the almighty Lord. Thus saith the almighty Lord. When ye were in the wilderness in the river of the Amorites being athirst. Yes. And blaspheming my name. Wait a minute. While you was in the wilderness in and you was thirsty, Amen. you blasphemed my name. I, I gave you not fire for your blasphemy. I didn't punish you with fire. But cast a tree in the water and made the river sweet. God's still doing good. That's right. Why are you doing evil? That's right. That's what made me say earlier, viewers, how many of you are so wicked and full of the devil and many of you are atheists that watch me because you write me by the number. Amen. One atheist said, I've been an atheist all my life, but uh, you starting to change my mind. And he said, I'm just going to keep watching. You starting to change my mind. And when I do come to church, I'm coming right to you, Geno Jennings. Wonderful. In other words, we, we, we got the hammer, the hardness of the gospel, chiseling that unbelief out of his mind. That's right. That's working on it. That's wonderful. Come on, son. Second Esther chapter 1, now we're at verse 24. What is it? What shall I do unto thee, O Jacob? What shall I do to you, Israel? Thou, Judah, wouldest not obey me. You would not obey me. I will turn me to other nations, and unto those will I give my name, that they may keep my statutes. Wait a minute. I'm going to forsake you. That's right. And being that you won't do what I said, I will after turn, all what I already done for you and the blessings that I gave, what am I going to do? I will turn me to other nations. I'm going to be a God to other nations like I was to you. I'm willing to go to someone else because they would appreciate me better. That's right. Look at yourself now. Amen. And see are you ungrateful. Ungrateful. See how you push God aside. That's right. Amen. 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 Are you listening? I will turn me to other nations. I, I turn to other nations. And unto those and will I give my name. those will I give my name. That they may keep my statutes. So they can keep my statutes. At verse 25. Listen at this. Seeing ye have forsaken me. Seeing you have left the Lord. I will forsake you also. Then I'm going to leave you. When you desire me to be gracious unto you. When you desire you, me to be gracious to you. I shall have no mercy upon you. Most people don't even know this even exists in the Bible. Second Esther 1 and verse 25. When you desire Amen. for me to be merciful, for me to be good. For me to be gracious to you. I shall have no mercy upon you. I'm not doing it no more. Mm. That's something. The worst enemy is not the devil. That's right. The worst enemy you can have is God. That's right. Because even the devil can't do no more than what God says. That's right. But who do God got the answer to? Nobody. Nobody. Amen. Do you hear this? Seeing ye have forsaken me. Seeing. You have left the Lord. I will also, I will forsake you also. I will leave you also. When you desire me to be gracious you unto you. desire me to be gracious unto you. I shall have no mercy upon you. I ain't going to show no mercy. Whensoever you shall call upon my name. When you call upon me. Whensoever you shall call upon me, I will not hear you. I won't even pay you no mind. 
For ye have defiled your hands with blood. You have defiled your hands with blood. And your feet are swift to commit your manslaughter. Feet are swift to commit manslaughter. To murder. Yet ye have not as it were forsaken me, but your own selves. Wait a minute. You left your own manhood and you left your own womanhood. That's right. And have became like beasts. That's right. Listen closely at what he said. Ye have not as it were forsaken me. Not as it were you forsook me. But your own self. You left yourself. Saith the Lord. What do you mean? What I made you for, you have left That's that it. duty. I made you for my glory. That's right. That's right. I may cost you wouldn't give me the glory. That's right. You don't cause pain on yourself. Yeah. And as a result of the pain, look at the murder. Amen. The calamity, the evil, evil, the hatred. Children hate father, children hate mother. That's right. Children are cuss a school teacher out. Yeah. They lock the door of the classroom and try to rape the teacher. That's true. That's something. Get what I'm telling you, viewers. Yes. These are the last days. Yeah. That's something. Amen. City upon city upon city is putting it out there, trying to encourage young people to turn their guns in, no questions asked, and give them money for it. In other words, pay them to yeah. stop crying. That's how desperate they are. Yeah. I'm willing to pay you. That's right. Which is a contradiction. Oh, yeah. You're going to turn one weapon in, and yet it's, a, it's all available on the black market and all on social media that teach you how to build guns. That's right. You that's an authority of, uh, uh, that look at social media. If you want to ban guns, then it should be banned. How to build guns, how to build bombs, how to build anything that will harm the flesh on social media. Take it off. That's right. That's right. Take it off. That's it. I want to say if that's freedom of speech, that's not freedom of speech. That's just freedom of how to kill, how to, kill. How to murder. That's it. You don't want, there's freedom of speech, and then there's the instigation of death. That's right. Two different things. Two different things. The Bible says, by thine words, by thine speech, you are justified. And by thine words, by thine speech, thou shalt be condemned. That's right. True Freedom of speech is when your words is in line with the words of Almighty God. That's right. There ain't no defilement in what he said. No. There's no corruption in what he said. No, no. There is no trickery in what he said. That's right. That's There's right. no lying in what he said. That's right. Amen. Have you forsook the Lord? See, he have forsaken me. Here. Saying that you have forsake me. I will forsake you also. Ah, uh, no, not me, buddy. Mm. Mm -mm. He, he ain't never saying that to me. Amen. God be my helper. That's one thing I ain't gonna never hear. I appreciate it, but that's not for me. That's right. I, ain't for, I, I plan on staying with God along with the brothers in my body, and I ain't gonna try to do it. I'm doing it. That's right. I'm gonna do it. That's it. How do you know, Pastor Jennings? Because my heart is set. And my faith is like a flint. Oh, yes. And I haven't met nothing in nobody that rival God. That's right. You won't even get me the second guess. No. Not at all. Oh, no. We're Amen. on a solid foundation here. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. What's in your life? Who is in your life that making you second guess second God? Guess. You can't decide whether to stay in church or go out of church. Yeah. Don't know whether to keep with God or that's why I tell women, don't you go tell no man you love him with all your heart. He's a fool. That's a fool. I tell men the same way. You ain't got to be in love no one with all your heart. No. You may love each other from the heart, but only one you're supposed to love with all your heart. That's right. And that's God himself. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. 
go love that man with all your heart. When he leave God, you're going to follow him. Yes, you will. You so emotionally tied to him when he abandoned God, you're going to abandon God. You so emotionally tied to her when she abandoned God, you're going to abandon God. That's right. That's right. Jesus, the Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow as Christ. I follow Christ. Follow me as I follow Christ. That's it. When the preacher stops following the Bible, don't you stop following the preacher. Yeah. Get away from the preacher. Yes. Far, go to the land of far, far away. <laughs> Amen. Get far, far away from him. Far away from because him. Because he'll lead you to destruction. That's right. All right, Acts 238, what everybody got to do, Williams? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, viewers. Amen. Do you want to get yourself right with God right. or do you want God to forsake you? Amen. Viewers, let me ask you a question. Do you want God to treat you like you've been treating him? Mm. And I'm pretty sure your answer will be no. That's right. So you better thank God for his mercy. That's right. Repent of your sins now. Repent. God wants you to repent of your sins, of all your evil. That's right. Repentance is when you're sorry about all the sin, the wickedness, the unrighteousness, the ungodliness that you committed. You're sorry about it. You're convicted by it. Right. You feel remorse. You feel bad about your wrong. Amen. And you want God's forgiveness. That's it. And you ask God for that forgiveness. That's right. For the Lord our God says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of That's you. That's what you got to do. He ain't never said, bow your head and raise your hands. No. You take that Joel Austin and that TV evangelical fake salvation and throw it right back in the trash where it came from. That's right. This is a Bible way of being saved, a Bible way of being right, That's a right. Bible salvation here. Amen. Nothing else matters but the Bible. Amen. All this man-made religion, just come back to Bible. That's it. You hear me pleading with you over the air, come back to Bible. Yeah. Come right back to Bible. Yeah. What did he say here? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Whether you're a fireman, doctor, lawyer, judge, policeman, detective, amen, gambler, drug dealer, so-called reverend, preacher, monk, I don't care what you are. That's right. Let the monk come on in this sackcloth and ashes. <laughs> That's right. Eh? Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of hey, you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. How much? Every one of you. You want to stay out of hell? You got to do what? Repent and be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for what reason? For the remission of sins. You see, you were born a sinner. Yeah. It is, or rather, you was born in sin. In sin. You wasn't born a sinner. You was born in sin. That's right. What you mean? The sin you was born with was an inherited sin. Yeah. The sin of your first father, Adam. Adam. We was born in sin and shaped into iniquity then after we was born with that one sin of his transgression upon us, we begin to know right from wrong, and we done wrong instead of right, and we earn for ourselves the title, sinner. Sinner. You got to work to get that title. <laughs> That's right. And believe me, brother, work is being done. Oh, yes. The world of sinners, and I got sinners here. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you should be here. So you can start getting yourself right with God. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. What did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is God's gift. The Holy Ghost is the presence of God. The Holy Ghost is the power of God. The Holy Ghost is the moving of God. That come in man. And if That's man right. subject himself to that spirit of God that is in him, and to keep him yeah. from disobeying God. Anybody here want to get right with God? and be baptized the right way in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, you that are standing, go right where that sister is in the front. Go right where that sister is. You that are standing, come on.